Number eight, what is the conjugate acid of each of the following? And what is the conjugate base of each? And then we have letter H. So we have to find the conjugate acid and the conjugate base of methanol, which is CH3OH. And if you can find a conjugate acid and a conjugate base from a single molecule, that means in some situations, CH3OH will be acting as an acid, but then in other situations, CH3OH can act as a base. If a single molecule can act as both an acid and a base, we call these molecules amphiprotic or amphoteric, tomato tomato. It's just a fancy way for saying a molecule can act as an acid and a base. So let's split this down the middle, and all we got to do is just find those conjugates. So let's pretend that CH3, the methanol, CH3OH, um, is acting as an acid. What would be the conjugate base? Well, a conjugate base or a base is always one hydrogen less than its acid. So all I have to do is I have to go over here and just get rid of one of the hydrogens. But this one is a little bit of a tricky one because I have hydrogens in two spots. Am I going to drop this three down to a two or am I just going to get rid of this hydrogen? Decisions, decisions. Well, the answer comes from knowing a trend on the periodic table. Here's my lovely, pe oh my gosh. It needs to be a rectangle. Okay, beautiful. Um, here's my lovely periodic table, and the trend is the electronegativity trend. So we'll just write that down, electronegativity. And just remember that electronegativity, maybe I'll do it in different colors. As we go from left to right across the periodic table, electronegativity increases. And as we go from top to bottom, electronegativity decreases. Now, the hydrogen that is going to get lost, aka the most acidic hydrogen, is always attached to the more electronegative element. So maybe I'll write that down here. So the acidic hydrogen that's going to be you know, gone, that one is always bound to the more electronegative element. So basically, we have to know negative, oh my gosh, negative <laughs> element. So basically, we just have to find out which element is the more electronegative. These hydrogens are connected to this carbon. And this hydrogen is connected to the oxygen. Out of the carbon and the oxygen, which one is more electronegative? Well, we've got to go to the periodic table. Carbon is somewhere over here. And then oxygen is right here. But they're in the same period. Since electronegativity increases from left to right, oxygen is the more electronegative element. So... The acidic hydrogen that's going to get removed is always bound to the more electronegative element. And oxygen is the more electronegative element. So we are going to be getting rid of this oxygen, this hydrogen and not any of these three. So now we say, okay, there's my hydrogen that I'm getting rid of. The rest stays. So it's just CH3O. Now you have to account for the charge. When you're losing a hydrogen, you subtract one from the charge. Now, CH3OH, there was nothing in the upper right-hand corner. That means that there was a zero charge. So when I come over here, I say, okay, it was a zero, but since I lost a hydrogen, I minus one. Zero minus one is just a minus one, or you could just put a negative there. But this would be the conjugate base. Con base, we'll say for short. Now, in a different situation, CH3OH can act as a base, which means that it could turn into a conjugate acid. It could gain a hydrogen. So now we just got to figure out what that is. Well, remember, an acid is always one hydrogen more than its base. So you're going to gain one hydrogen. But here comes that question again. Which hydrogen am I going to add to? 
is this going to become H4 or is this going to become H2? It goes back to what we said before. Those acidic hydrogens, you can have multiple sometimes, they're always going to be bound to the more electronegative element. So since we already said that oxygen was the more electronegative element out of C and O, right? Out of carbon and oxygen, oxygen is more electronegative. That means that you will add onto this hydrogen. So I'm going to say, okay, I have CH3O, but now instead of just one H, that oxygen's now going to have two H's. And now we have to correct for the charge. Since you added a hydrogen, you plus one to the overall charge. Just like before, there was no charge here. That was a zero. So I say, okay, it was a zero, but now I'm plus one, right? I'm plusing one. Zero plus one is one. So I just say plus. And that is the conjugate acid or con acid. And that's it. There you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Love helping you guys out. And let's keep going. This chapter is going to be fun. And we're only on number eight. So we got a lot more to do. Math is coming up too. So it will be fun, I promise. And I'll be here every step of the way. So I'll see you later. I'll talk to you later. Okay.